It's been about seven or eight minutes. It's still heating up. Looking at the thermometer, it's 110.8 degrees in there. So obviously the preset on the thermostat is way too high. We knew that, but uh, I would like to see how high it goes before this thing snaps off. The thermostat just snapped a minute ago. Turn the, the light off. It is now cooling off. It got up to about 113 degrees. It's now down to 108 degrees. Once this stabilizes for a little while longer, I will then tweak the thermostat down. I want to see what the range is here, then we'll tweak it down and see how it goes. Something else to note here is, for the initial test, I am using a 40 watt light bulb. Now, the power of the light bulb is going to make a difference. I want to test and see how much difference it makes. 100 watts is going to heat faster and that may give the intensity that thermostat needs to make it more sensitive. We're going to find out, but first of all, we'll try the 40 watt bulb. The incubator has now gone through several heating and cooling cycles. I don't think it's perfectly stabilized yet, but it's enough that we can make, make some adjustments to it. The highest temperature it got to was 112.6, the lowest 103. That's about a 9 degree range, clearly too much for an incubator. We're going to get the average temperature down closer to a real set point, 99.5, that, that is our target, and see if it follows the same pattern. It's probably going to be the, close to the same pattern, then we'll change light bulbs and see how that makes a difference. Like that. Due to the time it was taking to get the incubator up to temperature, I went ahead and changed the, the 40 watt light bulb and now have the 100 watt light bulb in there. And it is heating up much faster and it's got more than twice as much power going into it. It's going to warm faster and it does. So the cycle time is between 3 and 4 minutes between when the, the light comes on and light comes off. I haven't stabilized it yet so I'm not going to jump to any conclusions as far as what the temperature range is. But I'd like to make a note here. You can see how quickly the light came on and then off. Now, when it comes back on, it'll be three or four minutes before it comes back on. So it's spending a lot more time off than it is on. That's kind of nice. It tells you that uh, you're not using a full 100 watts of power. You're using probably 25, maybe 30 watts of power because of the amount of time the light bulb is actually on. Now, something to be aware of when we look at the temperature variation we're going to see on this thermometer in a few minutes, and that is when you look at the temperature range, you're measuring how much the air is fluctuating in temperature. Not necessarily exactly what's happening with your eggs. An egg has a lot more thermal mass than the air does. It's going to heat and cool slower than the air does. That's one reason why the eggometer is very nice in cases like this because it's going to take the, the wide fluctuations an incubator might see and it's going to average them out and so you see much closer to what the egg actually sees. And as you're trying to hone in your temperature, that makes a big difference as you adjust up and down. The incubator has stabilized. It is time to see what the range is and we can deem if this thing is good enough or not. Looking at the thermometer, we can see the max temperature went up to 104.9, the minimum 97.3. That's a very large range. I would not feel comfortable putting eggs in this, even realizing that the temperature inside the egg is not going to fluctuate that much. I want to try one more thing before I give up on this idea. I want to put a heat shield, or actually a light shield, between the light bulb and the thermometer. I want to see how much light is making a difference on the thermometer itself, because light does carry energy, and it can warm things. It's called radiant energy. Let's block that and see what difference it makes. I have put a very simple shield, just using some more foil tape, we sure like that stuff, so that between where the therm thermometer will hang over here and the light bulb, there will not be direct contact with the light. Let's see what difference that makes. So I have finished testing with the 100 watt light bulb, with and without the shield that shielded the thermometer directly from the, the light bulb itself. What I found was quite interesting. If you add the shield, the range went to about 5.9 degrees. A little bit of improvement, but still not where you want to be. 
Then I switched out the 100 watt light bulb, put the 40 watt light bulb back into place. See what difference that would make. The range went down to 4.7 degrees. Getting closer, but still just a little bit out of the comfort zone. I'd really like it to be well less than 3 degrees. If we can get a full range of less than 3 degrees, we're doing pretty good. Because you know inside the egg is seeing a much smaller difference than that. Ideally, steady state no movement whatsoever but for a mechanical thermostat not very realistic so next we're going to try another thermostat a few dollars more let's see if it's worth the extra few dollars this thermostat we'll try is called a bimetal thermostat the thermostat in a water heater is a bimetal disc this is a bimetal plate where there are some plates that are open to the air much more sensitive than the water heater thermostat. Again, it's going to cost a few dollars more. Let's see if it's worth it. But now what I've got testing here, you see the light flashing off and on. I now have that that bimetal thermostat I showed just a moment ago installed. It's testing. You can see the cycle time between on and off is much faster. That's a good sign. It means that thermostat is much more sensitive. It's not steady state yet, so I don't know what the range is going to be. But I'll report back in just a minute. The incubator has stabilized with a new thermostat inside. It's been adjusted a little bit. It's not quite honed into an average of 99.5, but it's very close. But it's close enough to be able to tell what the temperature range is. So let's take a look, and we will see that right now it's 99.3 degrees. The maximum was 100.0. The minimum, 98.8 for a total range of 1.2 degrees. That is a great improvement of this thermostat over the water heater thermostat. In my opinion, worth a few extra dollars to get that tight of a range in your temperature. So that concludes our little tutorial on how to make a nice, simple, homemade, forced air incubator with a heater, a fan, and a thermostat for a very low price. Now with this, this bimetal thermostat, it's not going to hit the $20 mark. But for a few dollars above that, you've got a very good working incubator. This thing will hatch eggs.